Okay, let's look at some options for a matte mould. Now, this mould was intended for uh, cake decorating, I believe, and that's why it's matte. And I've been doing a bit of experimenting with it. Now, of course, you could make yourself a shiny piece from it by doing your casting and then varnishing it in some way, coating it in ultraviolet curing resin, polishing it. Um, there's lots of different things you can do with it. However, I found a way of creating a rather stunning, I think, effect. And I want to share that with you. OK, so the resin I'm going to be using is high gloss. Apex. Now, this is a kind of mid range resin. It is good for shallow to medium pores. It degasses well, which is a good job because I always manage to fill it with bubbles because I stir too fast. Um, cures, I usually leave it overnight. I think it's meant to take 16 to 18 hours. Something like I should read the label. <laughs> something like that um but it's numbers so it doesn't mean a lot to me i usually find actually in a warmish room like my craft room is because it's just in my house um it, i can usually demold it in about 10 hours i could use a quicker cure resin but um I, I'm, I'm happy with that time frame so we're just going to make sure we've got it mixed up well now the powders that i'm going to be using are this lot got to decide which first <laughs> these are ethereal powders let me show you one these are ethereal powders from the tiny turner and you can get these from toonpish crafts as wendy at toonpish is now an official stockist now i ordered the full set because that is the uh, cheaper way to do it as with most things if you buy the full set you, you get better value when they arrive, you get a little pot and it doesn't look like there's a great deal in there and they are not cheap. Can I just say, you so get what you pay for. You really do. This stuff is intense. It's heavily pigmented. It's actually called uh, ethereal pigment rather than powder or whatever. And it is seriously heavily pigmented. It goes a hell of a long way. So the quality is incredible. The effect is incredible. It's the best I've ever seen from any of these sorts of powders by far. And it goes a long way. So please don't be put off by the price. I can't offer you a discount code on it, I'm afraid. Um, I don't, uh, I'm not an affiliate for it. It's just something that I very, very much recommend because I use it myself and love it so much. The resin, on the other hand, um, I can offer you a discount on it if you want to get some of this resin um, just for you online. Very kindly issued me with a discount code for you. I am an ambassador for this resin because I was using it all the time anyway. So when they said, would I like to be an ambassador? I said, yeah, why not? Might as well. <laughs> um, so it, as it was pretty much the only one I was using. So there is a discount code. It'll be down here in the description below this video. And I will also put you, I can put you a QR code for Toonpish Crafts to get these powders and for just for you online to get the resin. The mould was uh, a cheapy one. I think it was from Timo. I'll see if I can find the link for that as well. Anyway, I think we've got our resin pretty well mixed up now. I'm not too concerned that there's a bunch of bubbles in it because I know they'll clear. They always do. So I'll see you in a few hours when this is ready for the next stage. Now, something to note before I disappear, actually, is that I'm not going to quite fill it to the top. It'll be close and I'm making sure I get into all of the nooks and crannies of the mould. But I'm going to leave a tiny bit more just for that last stage. Something you should note about bit in there. Something to note about oh no, it's not, it's just the way the light's catching it. About using moulds that were intended for cake making. Because fondant that they use for decorating cakes isn't it doesn't self-level anyway. Um, you know, it's it's a it's like a clay, isn't it? Then they don't worry about making the moulds level. So sometimes you might find they're just very slightly not. So just just check before you walk away that your mould is, is level if you need it to be. So under this side, I'm just going to fold up this little scrap of paper just to lift this side slightly. So just something to check because this isn't what these moulds were originally intended for. You might find they're slightly off. There we are. So we're just about a millimetre below the top. 
and you can see the bubbles are already starting to dissipate so I'm just going to leave it now to cure and I will be back with you as soon as that is pretty much cured so we'll see you later so all we're going to do then is get some powders on the back here and the colour I'm going to be using will be one from the Tiny Turner and I'll definitely put you the links for this down below because they're powders you get the tiniest little bit in a pot because they are the most incredibly strong and intense so you only need a tiny bit now let me pick a colour and I'll be back with you so I've chosen Arcane it's the most beautiful purple that colour flips so there you go isn't that stunning now the other powders I've got and wait for the end of this video for me to show you what these do these are ethereal powders and I've sneakily also done a couple of these using those. So stick with me to the end and I will show you those as well. Let's get this little fella done first. You're going to need, and you can use a makeup applicator. I like to use a brush, but you can use makeup applicators or your finger or anything. But that is probably too much even. It goes such a long, 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 long way. And as I said, I will put the link for this down below. Um, you get them from Wendy at Toonfish Craft. She's the official stockist for the Tiny Turner's powders. Yeah, it's even that, even that tiny, tiny bit I had on my brush there was way more than I needed. It really does go an awful long way. Now, all I'm going to do, I'm going to pop some gloves on, pop some resin on the back. Okay, so I've got my resin mixed up. Um, but as this has gone, not as opaque as it would if you put it straight onto a onto your mould, because it goes totally opaque and it doesn't matter what you put behind it if you go straight onto your mould, because it's such a solid colour. But as I haven't done that on this occasion, I think what I'm going to do is just put a tiny little dot. See, I could go in with black. That's what typically we do, isn't it? But I'm going to put a tiny dot of the, and I mean tiny, dot of the powder straight into the resin and give that a stir. And then the very tiniest dot of black. Just thought that would give it some depth and it's still got a bit of that purple shimmer in the black. And hopefully it's still translucent. I'm just going to encourage that around a little bit. Yeah, that's it. Right, I'll see you for the demold. It just looks like a splodgy mess from this side, doesn't it? We'll see what it looks like at the end. See you later. Okay, everyone, time to demold. And see what we've got. And look at that dark and sultry colour shift. And as you can see, this is a satin finish mould. It is not shiny. Are you getting that colour shift? Isn't that gorgeous? Right, now I promised you I'd show you the ones done with the ethereal powders and I didn't put black on the back of these. And look at that. Isn't that lovely? Just looking actually with the dark behind it, this actually looks shinier than it is, which is interesting. So we've got that, we've got that. And then there's this one. Look at the shifting in that. Now with that one I did put a slight tint of purple in the, I mean really slight, into the resin as well. But look, isn't that stunning? And I love how sinister this one looks. Look at those colours going on in there. There's gold, there's, what is there, oranges, purples, blues. Fabulous. Anyway, so there you go. My message to you is... If you've got a matte mould, yeah, you can make it shiny. You can do shiny things with it. But why not see what happens if you just leave it as it is? But yeah, what do you think, folks? If you like this little video, do give me a thumbs up. You know where the buttons are, all down here. And of course, subscribing is free. So if you want to know when I'm up to anything else, doing any more experiments, then uh, if you want to click the subscribe and the notifications, that is a great move. Thanks ever so much, everyone. And... Uh, Big hello to my channel members as well while we're here. <laughs> Thanks everyone and I'll see you for the next one. Bye.